I hope you're ready because today we are going to be making the perfect Christmas party tree. And I'm not going to be doing this alone. I've got Nate <laughs> here with me, aka the autistic guest that you guys might have seen in our Oreo Balls video. But as you guys all know, Christmas is the Christmas meal is not complete without a homemade pecan pie. Yeah, that's my favorite pie. So without further ado, let's just get this. So started. the first thing that we are going to do, as always, we are going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and make sure to take this part off when you're preheating your oven. That way your oven doesn't overheat. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna grab our one cup of sugar. Yes, one cup of sugar. Let's move this out the way so you have your bowl ready. All right, one cup of sugar. Dang it. All right, a uh, quick tip if you guys ever like, get to the bottom of your bag and you're having trouble getting the sugar, just tilt the bag. Maybe you want me to pour it to a cup? That's not a cup. Yeah. This is like, oh, that's satisfying. <laughs> okay, that's good. To be honest, not. All right. So, Alrighty. so quick tip that Nanny taught me: before you do anything like with syrup or anything, what you should do is that you should grease up your your little measuring cup so that way it, it doesn't stick, right? Absolutely. Shoot. I feel like no. But watch. That's okay if it gets all over. It's just grease. Yeah, it's just grease. And All you right. want one cup of of a caro caro dark Caro? corn syrup. Yeah, why does it have to be a dark corn syrup? Um, it can be the light. The dark just has a better flavor. Oh, more intense flavor. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Do it over the bowl, just in case any extra drips. Alrighty. Oh snap. Oh. And then grease, and it it comes out. Like. So, I pour. Oh, that is so satisfying. Alrighty, now three eggs. All right, you ready for that? I'm gonna do a one-handed egg Let's crack. One. Like a boss. I want to see you do one. Wait, we're gonna do it at the same time. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh shoot! <laughs> My shell wasn't cracked all the way. <laughs> Just gonna take that off. Now we're gonna need the two tablespoons of melted butter. So two tablespoons. You just uh, just pour that in here, yeah. Scoop it. Oh, uh. lean your thing like you were talking about with your sugar. Ah, yes. Look, let me show you something. It isn't working. <laughs> Look. Look how I'm doing this. Oh, yes. So that's what you want to do. Try it that way. Because we okay. needed two. So you try it that way. There you go. All right. And quick thing about the eggs. You want to make sure that they're at room temperature. What happens if you try to do this with, like, chilled eggs? Um, they just seize, seize the ingredients more. So if they're at room temperature, they won't try to make everything else cold and seize it up. Oh. So it's better to work... When you're baking, it's always better to work with room temperature ingredients. Gotcha. One teaspoon of vanilla. The good stuff. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, there we go. <laughs> as soon as you question it, boom, it works. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. All right. And now you are going to mix it until it is very, very well mixed, very well incorporated. Up two minutes by hand. All right, wait, so I just... Nate, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> All right, just gonna whisk this up. Wait, you're gonna fold it or just mix it? You're gonna, you're gonna whisk it. Mix it good, mix it good. Control. Do like this on top of the eggs, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so that you can pop the yolk. Yes. All right, we'll be right back. Now that it is really well combined, you're gonna stir in 
a cup and a half of pecans. So a cup. Yo, this recipe is gonna be nuts. Am I right? <laughs> Fill it up. All the way to the top, almost overflowing. All right, it's, yeah. We say this in almost every video, it's good to do it over the bowl so that. Yeah. If any extra drips, whoop. All right. That's satisfying. And a half, in my favorite color. <coughs> and then my least favorite. Mm. Oh shoot. Yeah. And that's why you do it over the bowl. Yeah, in this case I did. Fill it up. <laughs> that one hanging pecan. All right, stir it together really good. And you're just gonna stir in. This already looks exactly like the filling and I hardly even mixed it. Mm. Mama, take a screenshot of that, please. That looks good. All right, we'll see you guys when we're gonna pour it in. Now what you're gonna do is that you're going to pour your mixture into your crust. If you want, you can make this from scratch, but this recipe takes quite a while, so. Yeah. Oh, yes. I've been waiting for this all this, all this of all this video. This is why we have the spatula still. You're gonna scrape it. Get all the goodness. All right, that should be good enough. All right. Well, that, that already looks like it's cooked, but it isn't. All right, so now what we are going to do is that we're gonna take some strips of foil and we're going to Get them around the edges. Nanny showed me how to do this, but. You just crimp it around and cover the top of the. And Nanny, tell them what this does. So this. that is going it to. Pie. It's okay. That is gonna protect your pie shell from burning because it has to bake for so long. And after so long, your pie shell will get darker and darker and darker. So if you shield it with the foil, it will keep it from burning and tasting bad. I mean, it'll still brown, but... Absolutely, it will cook perfectly. But it just won't burn. Right. Also, can I just point out that I wanted to thank Nanny real quick, because she's the one... I remember asking in the in the Nutella turnover video, like, what brushing the things with the egg wash does. And Nanny, tell them what you told me that it does. So, it makes it shiny when you... Use the egg wash on um, anything you're baking. It will make it shiny and pretty and it will brown even more evenly instead of looking dull. Yeah. So I was really glad that we did do the egg wash because we are all about quality here on Autistic Chef. You good? Uh, I don't think I'm doing this too well. It's okay. It's okay. Like I told you, it does not have to be perfect. I'm just hoping this doesn't turn out to be an autista fail. We've no, no, sir. No. We have never had an autista fail before. I'm hoping to keep up that streak. We good. Yeesh. I have a feeling that this might be the video where we fail. You no. You good? All right. All right. You're done. Okay. All right. Now, get these bad boys on, and you're going to. Put this glorious pie, okay. We're gonna put this glorious pie in the oven. Is it all right? Oh shit. It's okay, I'll fix it once it goes in. You just. <laughs> Support your bottom. Be careful. Be, be very careful, you're gonna spill. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. That's why I keep that pan in there. All right. All right, I did it. Yeah. And I'm gonna put this right back here. That almost sounded like someone was knocking on the floor. Want these? Yeah, all right. <laughs> and we're gonna put on a. You. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna put it on a timer for 60 minutes. Nanny, stop distracting me. What? Oh, shoot. See you then.
Now we're going to take it out of the oven. And oh my god. That looks good. Now, this has to set at a minimum of two hours. So real quick, me and Nanny are gonna smell this. Oh, yeah. Smells like, uh, you guys ever had like a- Pecan pie? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever had persimmon bread, for some reason it smells mm. like this. Mm. All right, see you at slicing. All right guys, here we are. We let it set overnight. If you couldn't tell by our shirts, but now we are going to cut a slice. Oh, a little help. Sure. I'm not the best with cutting things. Oh, it's all jelly on the inside. Mm -hmm. Just wait the camera at me. That's the good stuff. -ish. Hardy har har, mom. Hardy har har. Oh. <laughs> so we didn't cut through good enough. Ooh, nanny. Okay. This is what I do. Yes. Yum. Nom, 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 nom. I can't wait to try this. I just get a close up on that real quick, though. Like. Oh my gosh. You did this without cutting the thing. It's just a big old knife. <laughs> hey, Mama. Will you hear me? Put the camera on me. Name that Fortnite emote. <laughs> Although it should be plainly obvious which one it is, because that one's like the most popular. All right, and of course, we got some whipped cream, because it's a rule of thumb. You can't have whipped pop. A pie without whipped cream. It's impossible. Oh, uh, there we go. Mm. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, we're about to taste this glorious piece. Got oh, some whipped bite. Got some whipped cream. Got some pie. Oh. Doink. Different, Different, not, not less. less. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I took a little bite. <laughs> I like pecan pie, so don't judge me. Too late. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it went down the wrong side. That is so good. All right, Hunter, so on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you give it? A 100. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a 10. It's just okay. so good. Actually, no. We were supposed to say five all day. Five mm -hmm. all day. And tomorrow, too. <laughs> what? I said five all day and tomorrow too. <laughs> all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, destroy the like button or heart button, depending on when you're watching us from YouTube or Facebook. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon so you never miss an upload. Thanks, Nanny, for joining me. Anytime. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's do the hand together. Okay. Our hands are coming at you. Woohoo!